All right, all right. We are back, and we are going to be getting into the last painted detail. Um, unless, unless plans change, but um, really looking, the figure's looking great. I have not, I've obviously removed it from the painting area. I um, kind of want to do a reveal all at once and take some pictures with it for you guys and gals. So we're going to get into this little hair tie right here, and I'll be using a Citadel contrast called Luxium Purple. It is a really nice purple. I won't say that it is my definitive purple, but I really do like it. And because it is a contrast, it's already mixed up for me, which makes it nice because I'm going to go in with my spotter here. And I actually went a little too heavy. Getting excited here. Um, the closer you get to finishing a project, sometimes you will get excited. Sometimes you will also find yourself a little bit sad because you've enjoyed working on it so much that uh, you know, coming to the end of it. I look at it as I'm a, I, I get excited because I want to move on. I, I want to see it through so it's finished, but then I also kind of rotate so you guys can see here. Um, I also get excited to uh, start another project. So I try not to start one without finishing a project. So that is me. If you are able to do multiple projects at the same time I tip my hat to you because that is it's a difficult thing I've done it before and it for me sometimes that uh, creates a little extra stress um, especially if one of those things is a commission I, I really like to dedicate commission work to one at a time so I'm solely focused on it and I, I truly give it my absolute best everything because it's a it's a piece of work that someone has requested wanted me to do and I want, I, I want, I want the person who's getting that figure or that piece to really enjoy it <clears throat> and I apologize if my hand is right in the way of the uh, camera that I'm just rotating this headstand so I can get that purple all the way around. And I think I had mentioned before in a previous video about painting surfaces that people can't typically see. I will do those surfaces even if that means kind of contorting my hand or the piece in a, in a funky way so that I can get it, which I did. And there we go. Um, and like this head, more than likely, I will not be displaying Darby with her unhelmeted head. I really like the way that the helmeted head came out and how that helmeted head give me some flexibility in mixing and matching this figure with some other properties. So you might be asking yourself, Jeremy, I thought you already painted the surface, and I did. Um, the beauty of contrast paint is that it dries a little bit slower than your regularly mixed paint, and now you can you can wait too long and then your line your your paintbrush will actually start to pull off dried paint. It's called burning. Um but that is that is it. That is that is really nice and I'm really happy with that. So for this alternate head sculpt that I will not be using on the figure much at all. I will definitely include it in our finished pictures because I feel that's an that's an important piece of the project. But as a whole 
she is done and I can't wait to show you the finished pictures. Thanks again.